Tonight at 10, police are still looking for 14 year old Romero Holloway Jr. in connection with these two attacks that obviously were caught on camera. Police arrested a 16 year old girl also connected to the attacks earlier this afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Rob Williams and I'm Trisha Mackey. We're gonna get straight to it. New at 10. We are hearing from a local state rep who says school transportation could be the key to preventing this kind of violence. Our Chancellor Wynn joins us live with more on what he had to say. Yeah, we're live here at Government Square because one of those attacks actually happened right here in this area. And as we know, these attacks involved juveniles. So tonight I spoke to a state representative and he tells me that better transportation, so that's busing, getting students to and from school could help prevent violent attacks like these in the future. This is unacceptable. Uh, we should not have this level of violence, especially youth violence in our city. Denny Isaacson is the state representative for District 24, which includes downtown Cincinnati. He is reacting to seeing videos of attacks like this one from January 23rd on East 6th Street, as well as this attack from January 24th that appears to show a juvenile being attacked by about a dozen others on East 5th Street. We got to get these kids back in school. We have a chronic absenteeism problem. Not enough students are in the classrooms every day. Isaacson says that he believes these types of attacks by juveniles could be prevented with better transportation to and from schools. Why are these students all in the same place? All right, that is statewide. We have failed to properly invest in getting kids to school through a transportation system that makes sense. Cincinnati Public Schools utilizes Metro buses to get many students to and from school. That costs a lot less money than yellow bus service. That's CPS Board of Education President Eve Bolton back on January 18th, before these attacks even happened. On that date, Bolton told me CPS has a logistics problem when it comes to bus services whether it's a business district or a residential neighborhood, if you're going to have hundreds of teenagers waiting for the next bus, that's an issue. Isaacson says that Metro buses typically don't provide direct routes for students to or from school. And they usually have a connection. You're not taking direct bus routes. And so the connection is often Government Square, and a lot of this happens at Government Square. Isaacson says proper funding from the state level is needed to help solve this school transportation issue, which he believes could help prevent violent attacks like these. The state needs to step up, particularly for our urban school districts, and make sure that we have a tr school transportation system that works. We have totally failed to address the school transportation issues all over the state, and we have to do better. Now, police tell us that an 18 year old and a 14 year old have been arrested in connection to these violent attacks, as well as a 16 year old who was taken into custody. But police are still searching for that other 14 year old. But for now, reporting live downtown, Chancellor Wynn, Fox 18 Now. Chance, thank you.